All right, folks, now check this out. Listen, it's that time of the year again. And for me, really being honest with you, every day is that time of the year. You know why? Because we doing a prime rib. Now, you guys can see I got some ingredients right here. Don't forget, they're gonna be on my uh, website. That's Smoking and Grilling with AB. That's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now, if you guys come on over here. Now, my tool of choice is, listen, this is my dual fire, dual fire RT 1200, right? So I got two chambers. I'm gonna be smoking on this side. This is my pellet grill. Then if you guys pay attention over here, look, this is my hopper right this holds about 40 pounds but check this out now the blend this is called the ultimate blend this is white oak red oak and hickory right pellet same thing that you use like in an offset they just broke down real small into pellets okay so look now what i'm gonna do is let's go ahead and get this opened up right let me get this out and then we can start pulling out everything right now i let my prime rib get to room temperature Meaning I left it inside of here, pulled it out, let it stay out about 45 minutes. You know what I mean? You don't want no air to get on it. So I kept it covered, right? So I'm gonna set this off to the side because we getting ready to make our rub. So what we want to do is we want to make a rub, right? So listen, I'm using branch and vine. Listen, this right here is a bacon sea salt. And believe it or not, folks, this is a vegan product right here. Look, it's just a combination of the, you know, the herbs and spices that they use. It gives it a little bit of a smoked, bakey, uh, you know, taste to it. And it's sea salt. So. I'm gonna just add a couple tablespoons in here of that. So now I'm gonna come with my black pepper. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of that in here. Then I'll come with my, you know, my onion powder. And again, folks, when it comes to the garlic and all that and the rest of the ingredients, you know what I mean? Don't forget, it's on my website so you guys can get it. Then just get yourself a whisk or keep it old school and do it with the fork, right? Now, I left this part open for you guys to just see. When you buy it, it's going to come like this unless you go ahead and have it Frenched, right? So I like to use a boning knife, you know, to clean these up. You know what I mean? You want to take this off. But for right now, I'm just getting ready to take this. And you can see this big piece of fat and it's kind of hard. Let me turn it around this way. You see that? That's hard. Man, that's going to take a whole lot of render. And by the end, I'll be going to cook this whole thing, you know, well done, right? So I'm going to get underneath this, you know, I'm going to just cut down to this bone. And then I'm going to start cleaning this up right down this way. Right, so now I'm getting ready to make a little bit of a trim here. This fat right here, I want to get rid of some of this. So I just want to show you guys some of this loose stuff that's real small. I mean, it's real loose. Then you got a little bit of the hard right here. So I'll just cut it. You know what I mean? Now, really, because I'm doing a video, I waited till it got room temperature. It's best to, when you get this and it's nice and cold and it's firm, that's when you should do your trimming and then let it sit up from there. Okay, now look, now this is what I want to show you guys, right? I gotta bring out some butcher twine. If I set this up right here, obviously it's three bones, you guys can see them, right? I'm gonna take this and let me bring it over here to the side where you guys can see it, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold these in my hand and I'm gonna take my meat slicer. Check these out right here. Gotta get yourself one of these. So listen, as we go from this holiday through the spring and the summer, we're gonna be slicing that meat, right? So when it comes to that brisket and all of that, you know your boy got you covered. And it's a good weight, all of that. Listen, yada, yada, yada. I feel like I'm about to over talk it. So listen, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna trace this bone here and separate the meat from the bone and then we are gonna put it back. Now, here we go. Just take it, but you're gonna need something sharp, right? So you just wanna take it and you just wanna tr trace the meat, right? You can feel it. It comes down here, look, you see it like that? So I just keep it pressed, keep the edge over that way. Right, and then I just bring it down to the contour of it because I don't want to slice none of the bone and I just bring it like that, right? And this is what you want to have. I'm going to let you know this right now. When, it, when we all say chef's cut and all of that, chef's choice, this is it. Because this right here, when this gets hot, it does something special. Everybody want meat by the bone, right? Now we want to put this back, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up, right? Since I got it separated, I'm going to leave it just like this. Now I'm going to be using my branch of vine. This is my infused, you know, oil right here. Right, and this is garlic infused, right? That's what the bottle looks like. There it is, says garlic on the back end. I keep that in the inside. I just wanna show you one thing. I'm gonna put a little bit of a binder on here and then I'm gonna close this up after I season it like this with my butcher twine. <laughs> then we are gonna get ready and put this inside, right? But I'm just giving you something to make your mouth salivate. 
Now look, I'm finna elevate everybody's game, you know what I mean? With this being like something special, I'm making this one for Christmas, right? So I'm gonna show you like this. I'm gonna do it with the bottles first. We got garlic infused, right? And then we got a hickory balsamic, right? This is it right here. This combination with any type of seasoning, but if you want the best seasoning, it's gonna sound crazy. It's my seasoning. Just this trio, right? That blend. Now, let me go ahead and, you know, put some of this in here. This is what we're gonna use as the binder, folks. Right? I'm gonna add some down this way. Look at that. Right? Put this over back on the top. We don't wanna break nothing, nothing to slip. Now I'm gonna add the garlic infused, right? Just get it on top. It's gonna be a little bit hard to make it mix, right? Now, check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the herbs that I have already. Just put this in here like that. Get my whisk, and I'm just gonna whisk this together like this. You wanna talk about a flavor profile that's way over the top? I don't care, wherever I go, if I'm ever out somewhere and I'm trying to show out, this is it right here. Hey, this is great on chicken too. You could just change your herbs, you know what I mean? But my A or B seasoning will do it, folks. Just trust me as I tell you that. Now, I'm gonna set this over here like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a little bit on here and it's gonna get a little bit messy. I'm gonna try to keep one hand dry and one hand wet, right? But I wanna get this on here, right? So I'm just gonna put a little bit, let's do it like this. Don't forget, this piece right here, you know I ain't gonna neglect it because this is mine. Now, the hickory balsamic got a little bit of a sugar in it, you know what I mean? So we gonna watch it. We don't want it to have that dark, dark, you know, look to it, right? Now, my dry hand, I'm gonna come in my herbs, just put a little bit here like this, right? Don't forget, it's the holiday, folks. We we showing out, but if you my neighbor, you'll find out I cook like this all the time, you know? So, we just leave it like this, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just set this on here. This is nowhere near done yet, but I just wanna close that up, right? Now, I'm gonna come back with white, I mean my wet, and I'm gonna just make this, rub this all over here. And you guys got it now. Look at that right there. We wanna give it a nice, generous, you know, portion, right? Let me get this out you guys way, cause I want everybody to, I wanna make sure that your, 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 your mouth is watering. this right here is what we working with now you guys that saw me already take it and uh fire up my dual fire right when i fired it up i set it at 500 degrees why because i go 500 degrees for 15 minutes in the very beginning then i'm gonna open the top let it you know cool off just a little bit i'm gonna set it at 325 stick my probe in it and i'm gonna show you something beautiful at the end all right so if i hold it like this just so you guys can see notice i put it bone side down right now i'm gonna go ahead and put this in I'm already at 500, and then I'm just gonna set this in here like this, right? And I'm finna close it. Now again, just to give you guys a recap, 500 degrees, we're gonna go for 15 minutes. I'm gonna open the top, let a little bit of the heat out. I'm gonna set it at 325. I'm gonna stick my probes in, and then we're gonna be looking for what? It, the reason I say what is, because it's up to you guys. How do you want yours? Medium well, medium rare, or well done? But well done, Okay, folks, so look, I'm gonna have you guys come in here and take a look at this. There's a few things I wanna tell you about having like a pellet grill, what makes so much sense. You look right there, that's a 129. I got that in the meaty part of my prime rail, right? When that takes 130, when that meets 130, I'm getting ready to open it up and just take it out. Now, most of the time, like us, you know, teaching people how to do it, they got like a little, for every pound, it's like 10 to 13, 14 minutes. Everybody got something just a little bit different, but that'll get you in the ballpark, right? When you're using the pellet grill and you guys are using a uh, meat thermometer, but this right here, my RT 1200 dual fire, look, it's got it built in. So when I reach 130, I know to take it out. I don't like to tell nobody to cook with uh, time or nothing like that. Listen, we cook when the food is ready, that's when it's ready. I'm finna open this up. Let me take one more peek back. We got one more degree. And guess what, folks? I'm finna show you some magic. Okay, we hit it. Now, if you wanna see something that's beautiful, look at that right there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Right, I'm gonna set this here, pull my probe out. Right, look at that right there. If that don't say smoked prime rib, I don't know what does, look at that.
okay, so as you see, I put a piece of foil over the top to make it, you know, like a little tent, right? And it's kind of like loose. You know what I mean? I just set it on there and do like that, and that's it. I want a little bit of the heat to escape, but I want to control it, right? So I've let it rest for 20, 25 minutes. You know what I mean? Uh, but look at that right there. That right there is a beauty. All right, so now for the moment of truth, right? So I'm going to lift this up right here. What I want to do is, I, you can see right here where I tied it up. There's a line, 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 and there's one on the outside. So let me get my little small knife. Let me cut these and release this, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these. I'm going to pull this off, and I'm going to show you what this looks like. Because remember, we cut this and separated it from the bone. All right, so I got these cut. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just going to move this like this. And then as you can remember, when I cut it, remember this right here? Now, this right here is going to be mine. Right, I'm gonna cut those off and just, you know, get those off. But if I take this and just cut this like this. All right, so you guys seen how I like separated it. You know, just took my, you know, my twine, took that off, separated that, cut those down, cause those are gonna be mine, right? I'm gonna do this right now just to cut this outside. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and start here. Remember, you wanna get yourself like a sharp, you know, slicer, right? Sharp blade, this right here. It's real nice. This is what it looks like on the outside. You know what I mean? Look at that right there. That's what you want. Now, as I get towards the center, right? As I get towards the center, it gets a little bit more on the medium rare. Now, for all my folks that say I can't do no pink meat or nothing like that, I'm gonna just put that right there. That right there is done properly, folks. Listen, as I get in here like this, now I start getting down to them million dollar cuts, right? So if I bring that like that, again, look at that right there. Oh my goodness, folks. Remember, you learned that here. Now, for those of my folks that don't like to have, you know, they meat showing any type of pink because some of you guys swear up and down that's blood, which it is not. What you can do is take it and put it on a cast iron skillet. You know, put it on a cast iron skillet and cook it how you want to cook it. But if you really want to take something that tastes really, really nice, you know what I mean? Uh, cut you some of this. Look at this right here. Hey, I'm just going to say happy holidays, folks. Mm. You see that? Want to talk about juicy? Mm. All right, so look, you guys just seen, you know, I just cut it down, did all of that. Listen, it's had a lot of air on it, so when you put air on there, it kind of like does a little oxidate, oxidizing type of effect, so it gets a little bit on the brown side, right? But I cut this little piece right here. I can tell you, this right here is fire. And you want to talk about like the crust that's on the outside of it, this right here is monumental. Now, I want you guys to try it just the way I give it to you. After that, then you can go ahead and tailor make it however you want to. But I promise you, if you're doing something for the holiday and you put this out, you know what I'm going to do? Cheers. I got to stop eating this, folks. Listen, prime rib is my thing. Now, I'm going to tell you what I, you know, think about, like, as soon as I take it and I get it close to my mouth, when you make that inhale and you kind of, like, just taste the flavor in your mouth before it actually touches your palate, look, it worked like this. Listen, it's that hickory, you know, that infused uh, olive oil, you know, along with everything else is on there, and then it had a time to, like, soak on there, and then not to talk about that we got a good, solid burn using that Rectech 1200, right? Listen, that right there, it's just a, it's the combination. It's not just really just that one thing, but it's that combination. Now, if you don't have none of these uh, ingredients, don't forget you can go by my website. You guys can check them out. If not, I'll give you guys some alternatives. But either way, try it. Let me know how you like yours. Well done, medium well. You want to see it beaten with the heart and all of that? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, tell the world, AB's here, right? So, so I don't over talk it. Guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.